Hi guys, welcome to Top News Age. Hit subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications from Top News Age. Today we're going to look at how to survive a dog attack. Let's get started. Dogs are usually known as the man's friend, but in some rare cases, they can also attack humans, which can turn deadly. Dogs usually try to chase the joggers, runners, and bikers who enter their territory. In the starting phase, dogs bark to defend their space, but if they don't get the desired results, they become bolder and more aggressive. In some extreme cases, dogs also bite humans when they're scared and feel threatened. So it's good for everyone to know what to do when you face an aggressive dog. Mostly people run after facing aggressive dogs, which makes the matter worse. Let's see some helpful tips to survive a dog attack. At number one, we have... Number one, beware of the body language. Body language of an attacking dog is very important. Avoiding any aggressive dog can lead you to the avoiding of any serious attack depending upon the dog's body language. You need to study the dog's body language to determine whether the dog will bite or not. Look at the dog's fur, tail, and ears. Usually aggressive dogs stand up their ears straight, puffing out their fur, and point their tails in up direction. Other signs of aggression include the growling, lunging, barking, and baring of teeth. Aggressive dogs, which are just going to bite, usually put their tails between their legs, flatten their ears back, and lick their lips just before the attack. Sometimes, dogs also show a mixture of fear and aggression. Whatever the case is, make sure to stay away when the dog shows these signs. At number two, we have... Number two, know when not to approach. Be alert if you have a dog around as a dog can approach you without any sign. Usually the dogs that are eating, sleeping, chewing on a toy, stick, or injured don't approach too quietly. Unfamiliar dogs are also not good to approach, unless the owner says that the dog is comfortable and friendly with the strangers. Some dogs are a little conscious about defending their space, which can approach you if they enter their territory. At number three, we have... Number three, stay calm. Unfortunately, if you face an angry and anxious dog, the best thing you can do is to stay calm and still. Usually the dogs are too excited when you're approaching them. If you show some energy by screaming or flaying your arms, they will attack you with more anger. Try to make eye contact to calm down the dog, but if the eye contact extends, it means the dog is ready to attack you. So try to deter the dog in this situation by throwing some treats or food. You can also try to turn sideways or backing away slowly to avoid the attack in multiple situations. At number four we have... Number four, put something between you and the dog. When the dog is going to bite you, try to put something between you and the dog. You can put a stick, jacket, umbrella, or anything which can protect you from the dog. If the dog is chasing you, try to use the sticks or rocks aiming at the dog's eyes and throat. These are the most sensitive parts of the dogs, and they usually stay away if anybody touches these parts. Make sure to use a stick or jacket with extended arms to keep the sensitive parts away from the dog's attack. At number five, we have... Number five, make fists. When you're facing an aggressive dog, try to make your fists. They're necessary to protect your fingers from being bitten off. You can simply fold your fingers tightly into the center of your palm and clamp the thumb over the middle finger. This will give you a lot of strength and energy to handle an aggressive dog and prevent the dog to easily bite you. At uh, number six, we have... Number six, distract the dog. You can also distract the dog's attention to prevent you from the attack. Many people try to distract the dog with different moves and impressions. But you can also throw an object in their direction to distract the dog. These objects include the bottle, towel, or anything you have in your hand at the time of the attack. If you don't have anything in your hand at the moment, you can simply pretend that you have picked something from the ground and then throw it in another direction. At number seven, we have... Number seven, command the dog. You can also command the dog aggression with certain commands. Try to command the dog to back away in a firm voice. You can also move your hands to show the back direction with stronger impressions. Many dogs simply move back after these types of commands and impressions. You can also pretend that you've picked something from the ground and command the dog to sit down. If the dog sits down, move back slowly without turning your back. Make sure you have eye contact with the dog during this entire period. At number eight, we have... Number eight, offer forearm. Offering a forearm is the last thing you can do. During an aggressive dog attack, if you think the dog is going to bite you, try to minimize the damage by offering your forearm. Make sure your sensitive parts are away from the dog's mouth. If a dog bites on your forearm and doesn't want to let go, don't pull your forearm away from the dog, because it can possibly be responsible for tear injuries. You can simply push the dog back. Make sure the dog is not getting to shake his head while your forearm is in its mouth, as it can lead you to some serious injuries. If the dog bite is on your foot or leg, you can grab the dog's back legs and lift it off the ground. Make sure all the sensitive parts of your body are away from the dog's mouth during this process. Try to do everything you can to protect your face, chest, and throat. At number nine, we have... Number nine, don't make matters worse. 
You can't simply run or kick, punch, or hit the dog as it makes the dog angry. Even the pepper spray and weapons are also useless if you're not skilled to use these items. Many people simply curl up in a ball during the fight to protect the most vulnerable parts of their body, which eventually saves their life against an aggressive dog. It's a good way to lose the interest of the dog. You can also throw something like a blanket on the top of the dog's head to block his vision. Usually dogs are less interested in you after these types of activities. Hoses or fire extinguishers on the dog's mouth are also very effective to release the bite. At number 10 we have... Number 10, after the attack. When the dog loses interest in you, don't look around for the dog's owner. Just let things go and focus on your injuries. Try to get medical attention as soon as possible, regardless of the smaller or large injuries. Any calling of small bite or injury can lead to some dangerous and deadly infections. You can also call 911 if needed. You need to report the incident to animal control so you can locate the dog before anyone else gets hurt. If you want any legal action, try to conduct the information about other witnesses and document all the injuries before reporting. Hope you enjoyed our video. Please like, comment, and share it. See you all in the next one. Thank you. Bye.